Slimehouse TV, myself, Theo Kane, just in the car with man like bent legs, and we're just literally pulling into the NEC for what is, as everybody knows that watches this channel now, the biggest toy event in England, the biggest toy show of the year. So it's going to be a madness today, it's completely sold out. We're also meeting up with lots of our friends today. Retro Ghetto's going to be here. We're just about to pull up and meet Dino Riders UK. Ed Retro Geek Out is also here. There's so many YouTubers and people all coming from all over the world. I've got a list of things to pick up for Bill making stuff. He can't be here. Here today but he's given me a list of some stuff that he wants me to pick up for him so yeah I'm on them missions as well and in terms of things that I'm picking up there's nothing that I'm specifically on the lookout for today there's always things on my list that I want to pick up but there's some things that are already here waiting for me like I've made some deals in advance and going to be picking up some stuff that's already there for me waiting so that's awesome that's always nice because that means that no matter what you're going to be coming on with something nice today but as you know building a studio at the minute got lots of projects on so not on big spending but you never know what's going to jump out to you so yeah man let's see how we get on <laughs> yo i'm so gasped for today as well now as you'll know if you watch my channel i love the nec there's lots of other smaller little more low-key toy fairs that take place around the year, but none of them slap like the NEC. It's also in Birmingham, in the middle of the country, which means that my friends from all over England can all meet up at the same time at the same place and we can all go toy hunting together, which is awesome. So as soon as we landed, we hooked up with Gareth, aka Dino Riders UK, and Callum, aka Retro Ghetto, all hit the early bird and started checking out the stall straight away to see what was on offer this time. Oh, tight the Garfield crew. Has he got the phone from Ninja Terminator? So I'd only been there a few minutes, literally just checking out the first two rows when I made my first purchase. And if you've been watching my toy hunts over the past year, you'll know that this is something from a collection that I've been slowly gathering from these toy fairs when I've been going to them. So when I saw one at a real nice price, you know I had to pull the trigger on it. You've got no change, you've got no bags. Good job you've got some toys. <laughs> That, you got it there? Sound. Nice one. Buzzing. We oh, need one more. Nah, that's a full set. That's what you're after. Him in blue. Right, is that? Yeah. I, to be honest, I thought that was the full set. To yeah, yeah, there's, there's him in blue, that's, and then that, that's full set. Ones there's a season two. There's a, set, there's a second series, but um, they're like a different kind of vibe. They're different made toy that they're not like these ones. Hey, don't worry about it. It's sound. Cheers, pal. Got that other reboot, another reboot figure that I needed. There's only one more I need now, because my yeah, mate's got, got me it, another yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that Princess of Power box, that's nice. <laughs> It's a spicy one. Don't see that very often, no, do you? That's no, it. No, no, there's two of them that are quite that one as well. They're both complete. The Hero Quest expansion it's pack. It's not been reissued as well, that's why. What's this one? Well, what's that? It's not Keller's Keep, is it? What is that one? Um, Sound of that. Uh, one's Orcord, I believe, and uh, Wizards of Morkov. Wizards of Morkov. Oh, right, right. Yeah, that haven't been re released now. Oh. Look at them augers. Nice one, dude. Look at that Ultimate Warrior bedspread. Nice.
Hey, pal. How you doing? All right? Not like you to bring all this amazing yeah. rare stuff. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you doing, bro? You good, mate? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's weird seeing you not behind a I stall, mate. I love the fact that I'm just chilling. I know I won't miss you either. You, you weren't lying. I told you. Look at his, isn't he? My life toys are us inside. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for that energy on. <laughs> it was really good to see NEC Toy Show regular and my friend Toys R Us. You might also remember this guy from a recent episode that we did when we went to his house and filmed what is probably, in my opinion, the most impressive Transformers collection in England. I'll link the video down below if you've not seen it already. But for somebody that's always on the hunt for real high-end Transformers pieces, you know that I had to ask him if he'd picked up anything good. Just did with Toys R Us, he's picking up stuff already, he he's spending. He didn't know it was a Mexican version basically. So, so you've got this but it's a Mexican variant. Yeah, there you go. So it means that I'll... I know you say he didn't know, but probably no one knows when they do. It's like <laughs> yeah, to, the people untrained people. eye to see it like that. Nice price as well, looks like. Yeah, very good price. Different language. I've got a sealed one, so what I'll probably do is sell my sealed one now. Yeah, yeah. Just keep that one. Take the kids on holiday. Yeah, nice one bro, <laughs> do it, do it. Do it. Happy hunting brother. So much toy biz. Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys, a whole ship. That's not something you see very often. I've not seen the single Captain Simeon thing from an every thing. Yeah, you don't see that one very often. I'm not sure how many people want to see it, but I do. Now, because the NEC is a toy show that's so renowned for being the best in England, not only does it attract people from all over the country, but it also brings people in from all over the world. One of those people being a good friend of mine from Instagram that I've never actually met in person, but I knew that he was going to be here today and had travelled all the way over from Chicago to attend his show. So not only was it going to be awesome to finally meet him in person, but he also had some stuff for me. Some stuff that I'd had delivered to his house in America that he was going to bring over to me to save me on postage just because he's a legend like that. And he also said that he'd brought me a couple of gifts as well. So obviously I was intrigued. I'll be back in a bit anyway, yeah. I you got something for me. <laughs> Here he is. Yes, brother, how you doing? What? Great. I was like, how you doing, brother? That's what you said. He went, where's Theo? Reboot. Where's Theo? I just bought some reboot as well. Yeah, the, the, what I needed. Do you remember that? I do remember that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, I'm man? all right, mate. Good. I'm all right. Son, Henry. How you doing, bro? Good to meet you. You right, mate? <laughs> yeah, hey. man. Some gifts for Oh, me, is, that, is that all for... Look at this. Can you bless you carrying all this around for me, man? I appreciate that. Yeah, that's why I said, where's Theo? Man? Yeah, yeah, where's Theo? <laughs> I want to give him this bag of goodies, man. Too kind, man. So that, yeah, the other one I just got is this red guy so i only need the blue thing and that's thanks to you almost a full set now awesome man i put it back in the thing here you even got your oh. target bag on top of that a target bag uh, authentic it? american so i didn't open this figure keep it in the package. yeah yeah no that's fine that, yeah well, yeah 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 all right I'll grab you a couple of bits here I got you that oh man what's this yeah, yeah, disney so, adventures uh, yeah oh, look at this right <laughs> Oh, tight, this guy Creative Banffer, we've been friends on Instagram for years and years, but this is the first time we meet in person. <laughs> and this, I figured you, got... you would enjoy. What is this? Yep. Oh, you know me well, man. Look at this. It's like a bootleg auto change transformer. Yeah, and it works. I know you're so not you can stupid. play around with it. It's the motor is great on this thing. Yeah. So check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate all the messing around. Flashlight. Oh. So that, well, yeah, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't want you to have left something in there and then let me think it's mine. No, no, yeah, yeah, everything's yours. Oh, yours. I think the. Um, I think you needed these. Yes, I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, thank you, mate. Yeah, that was still in there. So, yeah, man. I'm going to keep a lookout for red shadow guns for you. Is that what you need? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like been searching for it so far. Let's go, let's go in the middle. Let's go. No, go in the middle. 
or who's is it the middle? I'll go, I'll go on the side. Yeah, yeah. They'll put All me right. the tallest in the middle. <laughs> Legendary man, legendary. Oh. We'll link up properly later in it when it's yeah, a bit yeah. quieter. Well, not a bit quieter, but when we've done what we need to do, we'll we'll, no worries, we'll catch man. up later. Nice no one. Thanks so much again for that. No You're a legend, problem, mate. Man. Thank you. Right, mate. Nice. All good, all good. You're not brought your Manta Force today. My mate's become looking for Manta Force because you all go see Jamoria, man. He's got the goods. That's a great price as well. Like, I see the gun all the time, but not the helmet. Yeah, 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 for sure. I didn't even clock straight away that that's what it was. I just thought I've not seen that helmet before. Yeah, is that Marks? Yeah, like the son of Garlu. Another nice piece. Yeah, yeah, so you get the Son of Garlu and that, like, same same run. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a spicy one. If you watch these videos, you'll know that the NEC isn't the NEC without Rex's reviews inside. Big ups to the Dino Den every single time, bringing some real nice Jurassic Park pieces as always, but also some real nice Cadillacs and dinosaurs bits with them this time as well. Let's have, let's have a flick through. Yeah, do you know what? I, do you know because I'll rate, I'll rate like that uh, SNES game, uh, the arcade game of this. Yeah, yeah. I thought I might pick up these figures. They can't be that much. And I started looking at prices and I'm like, oh, maybe they're a bit more than I thought, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought they would be like, it's like hooking that you get like 15 quid and things. I thought they'd be more like that territory. No, oh, fair, fair play to the Cadillacs of Dinosaurs crew. Oh, you got lots of battle beasts. Oh, you got some nice pieces today. X Shop Stock. X Shop Stock. We like X Shop Stock. They're sealed ah. shop stock. These sealed, uh, man. Look at yeah. these. I don't think I've ever even seen them packaged like they are, they are hard, sealed. Hard to get. Oh, landed on a nice little hole then. Uh, uh, that's Oh really? So I've been very fortunate. Extremely fortunate. Same with these. These come from same. It's um. You saw the shopping Glasgow. Shut down in the. 90s, shopping where? Glasgow. Oh right, right. In the nineties. Um, opportunity came about and yeah. Jumped on it. Very, I'm very, very fortunate. Did you have to pay up or you get a nice deal or did he know what he had and he that? Knew yeah, what he had, but he was very good to me. Yeah, yeah. So I bought him all. So yeah, I suppose if you're buying it all, is that all the same as all these Transformers as well? Uh, oh, is that, oh, is that his shot? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, the Batman, Rainbow Bright, Toxic Crusaders, He Man, the Turtles, these are all X Shop stock. Oh, you got some uh, Space Britons, I love these. Yeah, I got both of them. Beautiful pieces, man. It's just nice to see them out there, you don't see them. Of course them. it is. Uh, these all I was just locking that, I thought, yeah, that, that's mint, that's mint. And the stickers. X shop stock in Glasgow. Can't knock it, mate. Makes the stall look nice as well. Oh, thank you, mate. And you, it's one of them, you won't be in a rush to just flog them off either, innit? You get the right price and keep them on the stall looking nice yeah. for a bit. Hold on, that's the thing, pal. Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Whoa, you're dropping, yeah. dropping things. Channel's mad, man. Sick. Oh, nice one, appreciate yeah, yeah, it. Bro. Nice one, bro. kind of monster in my signature. <laughs> Respect, bro. Take care, dude. Nice how are you? Good, man. Yo, mate. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yo, this is the stall I told you that you'd want to look at. I didn't tell you that, mate. 
These monster in my pocket wrestlers, what are they, are they two and all? Oh no, they're a pound each. Are they a pound each? Yeah. Okay, they're a pound each. Sorry, oh, nice one, brother, appreciate oh, it. I say the only wrestlers which have got a bit more on here right. are varying up here, which is a bit, quite a bit more. Okay, what what you got up there? Uh, that one's there, I think, so yeah, I've got Okay, yeah, he's a rarer one. Yeah, they all are, actually. They're all ones you don't see often. We've got some... It, alien pets, things, mini boglings. Now, as much as I'm looking out for stuff for myself when I come to these shows, I've also got friends that have given me a list of things that they're looking for, friends that can't make it. This time, Bill making stuff wanted me to get him some minifigures, so I was also on the lookout for them as well. The muscles, two quid each. This one, they're all... The scent bill or alarm emojis. <laughs> Don't mind me filming some of your Congos, do you, yeah, mate? I know you have, I know you have. The Jaws guy. All the gorillas, man. All Congos, 45 yeah, each. Got like pretty much nearly a complete water world as well. I always fancy doing a review on these and setting up like a paddling pole in yeah, a garden yeah. and like proper showing all their uh, all their abilities. Really. I love the minifigures as well. They all come with like a mad sea beast. Yeah. Get this crab, little Cthulhu squid thing, squid crab. There's lots of Kevin Costner's, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think he probably wanted the revenue. Dustin. Yeah. And. They already had his head sculpt yeah. from Robin Hood figures, <laughs> so they could just plonk it on. I love the Robin Hood figures as well, but they're yeah, all man. Now. Yeah, they are harder to find. I did a video on them, that probably didn't help. Yeah. Like, I did a big documentary. I went to Sherwood Forest and yeah, filmed it, right. and that, yeah, it's uh, one of my favourite episodes, actually. Nice one. Well, good to speak to you yeah, anyway, properly. Thank nice one, love. You take care. Oh, you got some war hammer? Yeah, that's, uh... That was like King, sorry, I went through a Kings of War phase. Ah. Oh, so it's all, back, it's oh, so it's Kings of War. That's all Warhammer figures by the zombies. I like your, the zombies. these old, you've got some old skeletons. Yeah. Ah, it's good to see, man. Thank you. Nice one. Take care. I think Bill making stuff's just text me. He's asked me to keep a lookout for minifigures for him, monster in my pockets and stuff. All good. Okay, so he's gonna give the minifigures a swerve, but he wants me to keep a look at the Mad Balls head poppers. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, man, I'm doing all right. You right, mate? How you doing? Right, oh, nice one. Appreciate that. Knock off Mighty Max piece. Hmm. It's cool. Reckon I'll take that, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got some change, mate. Nice one, bro. Thank you. It's a nice little uh, knockoff Simba, like space Mighty Max figure. I covered these a little bit when I did the Mighty Max documentary, but I didn't have uh, I didn't have this one. And I think this is the only one I need. No, there's a couple I need, but this is one of the the last ones that I need. So that's nice to find. Little tenner, sweet. Okay, just gonna pause it there for a second to let you know that this toy is made by Hinstar, not Simba. I don't know why I thought it was Simba. I'm only human. 
So for the three people in the world that are bothered, including myself, just wanted to let you know that this toy is made by Hinstar, not Simba. Okay, on with the show. Full set of Jason goes to hell. Rambo. You want to buy some of these? Got a whole case in my store. All right. I'm trying to get rid of it. I'll take them to 46 minutes and play these, yeah? All right. They're really nice, that set. The Mars Attacks ones. That's where Mars Attacks originally came from, these trading cards. Yeah. Mars Attacks and Dinosaurs Attacks, so cool. Desert Storm. Oh, I'll have a spin round here later. Madness, man, we're not even halfway round. Not even halfway round. Already got a sweat on, already spent up. I haven't really spent up. <laughs> oh, hey. The, the, uh, the actual Robert Cop. Look at that. I feel like Robert Cop is one of those that's a bit like a, a toy of legend. You see it posted around every now and again, and people said they've seen it in like a discount store and stuff, but look at that beauty. Something else that we should probably address is that in the heat of the moment, I thought that this was a Robert Cop, which is like a legendary bootleg figure. This was in fact something called a Robot Cop, which is just as funny, but not quite as cool. My dyslexia was obviously in full swing that morning, so for the sake of this video, let's all just pretend it was a Robert Cop, because obviously I was very excited. Look how excited I was! Also check out this guy's stall. Now we had some really heavy hitters over here, including almost a full set of original carded Ravel Power Loads. Now you know that I love this line, if you watch my videos you'll know that I've spoken about these quite a few times on my channel, they're also a toy line that have heavily inspired some of my own toy creations, so it was really awesome to see them all there looking so pristine and beautiful. Can it still exist? Has it changed, has it changed hands? Right. There's too much kick. Right, right. Something else that this guy had got on his stall as well, which was really cool to see, is debatably one of the rarest Action Man slash Action Joe pieces ever. The original Zorro costume, which was released by Action Joe, and to my mind was only ever available in France. This was also my first time ever seeing one in person, so yeah. To say I was impressed was an understatement. Whoa. I've got that Tommy gun. But the, the, the Zorro, yeah, that is one you don't see. Was that only released in Italy or France or something, if I'm right? It's not Guy Man, is it? No. Right, Action Joe. Walt Disney Zorro as well, that's a mad collab, right? <coughs> Walt Disney and Action Man. No way. No way, thank you for, for showing me, man. I've never seen one before. Get it, get it, get it in shot. Brought me a, a screaming Nicholas Vince <laughs> chatterbox. That's dope. Model uh, kit, vinyl. That's Susanna's Rise, one of my favourite Westerns. Oh, really? Eyes. I've never watched it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, dope, yeah, yeah. dope. That's brilliant, that is. And I've got... I know you like your posters. I do. This is a, one I've got a double of, so I just thought... You Whoa. Might. What's this? This is a uh, Last of the Hard Men. Brilliant film, if you haven't seen no it. No way. Poster? Yeah. Got two of them, so I thought... Oh, mad, awesome. mate. So kind. Boy. The ultimate showdown, Charles Eston and James Colburn. That's mint, brother. Slime oh, look at that! Incredible, it's going to be Slime House Studio. Oh, thank you yeah, so much. Got, I got That's awesome. I don't know if I just got that like, full bag of bits for me. Yeah, <laughs> I just saw that. Whoa, what is this? I don't know, I just was looking at like vintage Halloween stuff. No, Whoa, way. yeah, like vintage. I've never even yeah, seen so this. Get a shot. Where were this from, Charles? Um, 
Oh, you shouldn't have. But I've never seen it, and that's a little bit of me. Yeah. Check that. Woo! If Bug wants to skip. No, I, yeah. of, of course, so I'd love it. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Let me, uh, can I put, yeah. and you got and a hat as well? Yeah. No, you like your snap Oh, bags. too kind. Thank you so much, Chaz. Yeah. I get a picture, please. Of course you can. Do you want Bentley to take it? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And I keep keeping a look at the blue things for you. <laughs> blue Thank tech, because yeah. I know that you like it. I yeah, do, yeah. yeah. People like yeah, Game Boys or blue, CD yeah. players, all that. Yeah, all that tech players. Cool, yeah. I keep looking. I try and get you something Thank back you. in return. Thank you. Nice one. You Thank take you. care. And you. Thank Res you. Respect every time. Thank nice you. one. Bye. <laughs> How you doing? Just started watching your channel. Oh, did you? Oh, nice, nice. Thank you. So something that you might know if you've been watching my recent videos is that right now we're building a slime house studio we're building it from scratch in my back garden it's gonna be awesome and we're now at a point where it's ready for the floor to go down and luckily for me the nicest guy in toys Dave Blade is also a commercial floor fitter so while we were there he gave me a little sample of the vinyl that's gonna be going down on the floor which obviously was really awesome to see me a little bit of floor there you go oh so this is what's going down in the studio yeah oh it's nice and thick so Dave's doing the flooring in the new studio that we're building at the minute coming yeah, up next month so yeah so it's a bit darker than i thought which is nice as well because yeah, dark, darker the better yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh so i know you wanted that sort of slight gray kind of yeah yeah and something that's hard wearing so you can run wheels on it and things it exactly, won't rip yeah and it's so so nice and wipeable where were they from originally is it like from a hospital or something you were saying um it was from uh the pack stars like oh. the um oh really pack. yeah oh, okay came, okay came from in there so, nice uh, one. Oh yeah i'm buzzy i can't wait mate like yeah man. yeah we're all ready for you it's in, <laughs> in nicer condition than mine because I'm going to give him a pump. I wear him, yeah. I do that, like, halfway through the day when I get a bit tired, I pump him up and then I'm ready for round two. <laughs> Now, as you can probably tell, when it comes to the NEC, it's 50% toy on in, 50% social gathering. To me, it's as much about the chill as it is the toy on. So it was really cool to halfway through the day, all meet up in the cafe area and just all kick back. Ollie from I Made This also joined us and it was nice just to chill, show each other the stuff that we'd picked up and then talk about YouTube and future creative projects. Another YouTuber that was in the building and one that I was looking forward to meeting in person face to face finally was Ed's Retro Geek Out. Now this is a guy that's been smashing it on YouTube for years, doing toy hunting and toy history videos and that kind of thing. And with him coming from Belgium, I was looking forward to asking him what he thought of the NEC and if he'd picked up anything cool for himself. Nice one man. How many times have you been to this fair? This is NEC, second time. Second time. Yeah. Best one in England by far. Yeah. Just busy, look how busy it is yeah, man. It's crazy. Hard to move. People, yeah. yeah. But, uh, is that a camera? That's my camera, yeah. That's a camera? That's my sneaky little spy camera. What is that? That's for the wide, this is for the close. There we go. You know, got the little gimbal. figured out, man. Oh, every got time. Little, <laughs> got the little thing here. Yeah, man. Yeah, boy. So this is a slime house. You guys Hold check tight. out. He does um, convention um, coverage. And stuff. Everything, man. And toy I, making, toy yeah, hunting. Like, uh, yeah, he does the toy making yeah, as yeah. well. So I'll well, go on check it. out his channel. Yeah, man. Well, Finally meeting it. after many years. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, last time. I've even been mistaken for you. It. Somebody pulled me Somebody up and was like, "You're up a far from home." Like, Are you slime house? Oh like, man. Slime thing on here. Twinning. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, brother. Hope you have an awesome day did and you, big up to Ed Retro Geek Out. I've got lots of stuff given me. Oh, and yeah. I've got some good stuff. Uh, I left it out of yeah. store to pick okay, up. Yeah. You know what it's like. You get yeah, people yeah, giving yeah. you things, and <laughs> so I've got like lots of stuff given me. I've got some stuff waited at people's stalls, okay. and then some yeah. stuff I'm gonna pick up. I've got Ian Toy Monster's got a nice thing waiting for me, yeah. so I'm gonna go grab that when okay. I see him. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you found anything? 
Oh, a couple things, yeah. Anything to show? Uh, show me one nice thing you picked one up. One nice yeah, thing? Yeah, one nice thing. Slime, slime mouse. <laughs> oh, Sharp and Joe, the classic. I love that guy. What else? Those sun gold. Skull, skull man. man. I saw that on dude stall. Retroid uh, stall, I think his I name like, is. Yeah. yeah I, I need that. Did you pay up for it though? Uh, no. Is it all right? It. Yeah, nice, nice. So, so yeah, that's a like, that's a classic. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> love it, man. Love it. Yeah. But he's like tough to find. Like, yeah, old couple. You don't see them in England either. No. Yeah, yeah. You might not know like, that as much, but you don't yeah. see them here at least. Yeah, and here he was like, I think 100. Yeah. Had on it, but like in America, it's like 200. And you got a little bundle together. Yeah. So yeah. it's even less than that. Nice one, man. Like, but you're enjoying the day. Always enjoying Always. the day, and all, all right. the better for seeing you as well, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Nice awesome one. Meet, man. Respect, bro. Every time. Yeah, yeah. Like a little box. Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. Ultra, ultra man. Quid for quid for common rider one. Yeah, yeah, go on then. I got a pound. My girl, Bayloy. Coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have, yeah. Used to have one. Oh, so that's different to one that you normally see. Yeah. Ah. It's normally right, like right. a book thing, isn't book it? Like a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bent knows more than me. <laughs> I used to have it. <laughs> Don't have to see many Mighty Max on card. No. I'm going to go for one that's uh, hard to come by now. Yeah, really. And some of the best artwork, man. Yeah. The Mighty Max artwork's fire. Yeah, it is awesome. Yeah, you see like this Skull Mountain and that, because they, they're like collector friendly in it, in and out of the box, but like the carded stuff. That's nice, that dude. Do you want to look at the mask one? Yeah, let's have a look. A resale. Look at that. The Rambo mask. Beauty. <laughs> Couple of nice pieces there, yeah, mate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I did pick up some cards as well. What have you been buying? Oh, no. oh what are these? What are these ones then? Whole oh, cards. I thought it were a little minifigure oh, in there. Made the pack. Someone's made the pack. Nice. Oh, stop. Yeah, that 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 guy has every set of cards that's ever existed oh, no, ever. No. Full set, man. I was looking at his store. I think it's cheap. I think I asked him before. It weren't that expensive. For school. <laughs> <laughs> we was coming towards the end of the day at this point. Bent legs really wanted to try and find some kaiju. Our friend Pizarro's pieces that specializes in kaiju couldn't make this event because it was his 40th birthday. And with kaiju and Japanese toys being something that are so rarely found in England, Bent legs fought, and I thought at this point that we probably wasn't going to find any. Luckily for us though, on our last loop of the venue, we managed to find a stall that was literally full of Japanese Bandai Kaiju. All priced really nice as well, so as you can imagine, Bentlegs was buzzing, because we thought that we weren't going to find any, and he ended up coming home with a couple of really nice pieces. We found the Kaiju. I think you're the only stall with this kind of thing today. Yeah. Have a proper look, Bents. No rush, brother. The, the Gamera. Yeah, I can see, tagged, bagged. Something like those are perfect for that diorama thing. Yeah. Buy a bit of a beater and then diorama it up. That's mint. They do that and the pig. Lord. Found where all the playmates are. I know, I saw earlier, I saw it earlier getting ransacked. The one I needed, you already sold, so I didn't even bother looking. What you got on him, dude? One ten. 
Yeah. Nice with his antennas all intact. Yeah. Oh, and sweet. All carded. All carded. Ooh, where were that uh, from? No oh, way. way. That's fire. 75. Karate Kid headband. Let me zoom out a little. Just when you were saying we didn't see no Karate Kid stuff. So, that's cool. What's on the back? Nothing, mate. Oh, blank. That is cool. That's interesting, man. That's a nice piece. When you need to exterminate a Dalek, that's the gun to do it with. That is it. That's a nice gun. Captain Laser in the box. That's beautiful. One. I missed that. I would have bagged that myself. Really? Yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah and then nice. the, uh, and then I've got uh, an old yeah, Y wing which I'm gonna. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's a restorer. This guy, yeah, Gareth. He restore restores. He's got a dope yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. Vintage yeah. Toy Rush on YouTube. Might have the gift to do my um, The only big brontosaurus. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like a meat drum, yeah. 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 On there, you got like World War II soldiers, or like Vietnam soldiers, I can't quite tell. Their helmets are Marines, and there's some weird ass aliens. Look at them, and then it goes all spacey on the back. What is this, man? Interesting piece. Strange. Yeah, what is it? What is it? Toy line, because it's got like a figure checklist on it though. It's like a random knock-off like figure checklist. Wow, I love that. Like it fits little mask figures or G.I. Joe's or something. I don't know, because that looks like chewy. Yeah, and then it's got marines on the other side, it kinda like just covers all bases. Skeleton figures, weird blue aliens, soldiers. If it fits, it sits. <laughs> yeah, it's dope that. So Ian, you'll notice him because we went to his shop recently, we built making stuff, me, bent legs went down, did a toy hunt at the Vintage Toy Monster, and he had a piece there in the shop that I really liked, and at the time I didn't buy, and kind of wished I'd have pulled the trigger on, so he's very kindly brought it me today, he's just gone to his van to grab it. Get it on camera, Ben, is it on? There we go. this bad boy. Yeah, so no, we saw it, didn't we, when I were at shop, and I just kind of thought, oh, why didn't I buy that, but I was too busy eyeing up the Z Knights and... So, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is something that I left when we were down at the Vintage Toy Monster recently and regretted it. It's all unopened inside, as you'll have seen in that video, it's all sealed. And it's uh, another one for the TH3 project collection, so that's coming on with me today. Shouts to Ian for running to his van and going and getting it, mate. It's all in that side, isn't it? But I will, it's oh. like, do you know the artwork? There's a marine, there's a robot, there's whatever yeah. this is, a skeleton man. Space, I have no idea. That's S.G.I. Joe. They paid some like, we've got like five year old, like, five year old, like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like some like Boba Fett helmet yeah, yeah, from the yeah, back yeah. or yeah. some shit. Yeah, yeah, you gotta love it, isn't it? Look at that there. Yeah, that is it's, so cool. Long it's cool though. I want to make a toy of that. Yeah, <laughs> take a picture. Yeah, I'll take a, <laughs> take a video. Nice one, dude. So that's us all done at the NEC. Tiring one today, obviously you have to get up at like 6.30 a.m. to get to this place on time. 
But yeah, super busy. The busiest event of the year, an event that was sold out and pretty much everyone was inside to enjoy it. Shouts to Callum Retro Ghetto, Dino Riders UK. I made this. Ian from the Toy Monster. All the boys, all the girls that come to these events had a really good day and got so much stuff. So many bits and bats, lots of gifts. People gave me stuff, lots of things that I bought, things that were there that were for me to pick up from people that had uh, saved me things. A, a thing from my friend Chaz that keeps screaming when I, uh, when I press it. And didn't find any mad balls for Bill making stuff, but got lots of minifigures. So yeah, overall had a really, really good day. Shouts to bent legs on camera and on wheels. We're gonna go hit McDonald's and uh, we'll catch you at the next one, which I think is Doncaster in two weeks. So yeah, man, until then we're gone. Pow. If you enjoyed this video today, then please don't forget to give it a like and let me know if you saw anything at the Toy Fair today that you would have not been able to leave without coming home with. Is there anything that I missed? What do you think of my pickups? I also want to say a massive shout to everybody that came up and said hello to me at the Toy Fair. It never goes unnoticed. I really do appreciate it. Even if sometimes you holler me and it seems like my head's a bit spacey, it's just because I'm filming and I'm in the zone and I'm trying to make sure that I've got enough footage and that kind of thing. But just know that I really do love when people come up and say hello. I also want to shout out all the people that brought me gifts. You really don't need to do it, but I always appreciate it when you do. I came home with some real good stuff at this event and a lot of that was down to the stuff that people actually gave me for free. So once again, I just want to say that I really, really do appreciate everybody that came to say hello everybody that brought me something because it really does make my day when I come to these events and people show me so much love and respect. If you enjoy these kind of videos and you want to help make them bigger and better than ever, you want to see them more frequently, you want to see me out on more missions doing toy hunting and hooking up with other cool people and making content for the YouTube, then the best way to support that is over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash slimehouse tv. All that money goes straight back into Slimehouse, helps me keep doing this and helps me, like I said, make these projects bigger and better than ever. If you want to hit me up about anything but you don't want to comment down below, the best place to do that is over on Instagram at Theo underscore Kane underscore Slimehouse. That's also the social media that I'm the most active on and it's the best place to keep up to date with anything else that we've got going on here at Slimehouse TV. Like the studio building, everything else that we've got going on. Lots of stuff. But just want to say thanks so much again. I had a really good time at the NEC and I'm really looking forward to the Doncaster Toy Fair. So make sure you check back for that video. But in the meantime, I'm Theo Kane. This is Slimehouse TV and I'm gone. Pow.